What up? It's your boy NWP, and I'm back with one of them block rocking beasts. But today, seriously, I'm back. I've been sick for a couple days, but we're going to talk about why Firebreak is the most overpowered specialist in Nuketown. But first, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, take the time right now to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell just next to it so that you can get alerted anytime that I drop a new video. If you like this video at any time, hit the thumbs up. And if you have any comments, suggestions, or feedback, drop them in the box below. Now, additionally, guys, I am running a giveaway currently. $50, your favorite gaming currency, be it Steam, PlayStation, or Xbox. Get your V-Bucks, whatever. It's up to you. If you don't want to enter, you don't have to enter. But if you want to, check the link in the description. Okay, so, um, how are we going to, like, just even begin this to, like, really understand it? Firebreak has one of the best specialist abilities possible that rivals his actual um, specialist weaponry. And when it comes to Nuketown specifically, you have enough coverage and enough targets that are around you at any given time that you can actually get an entire load of streaks or push your streaks off of one kill. So I'm going to do that multiple times in this game. Just I was hanging out with my homegirl. Uh, you can catch her live at twitch.tv slash beautiful or I'll go ahead and at some point drop a card up here so you can like check her channel out. She's been streaming on YouTube and uh, she's going to start uploading videos and stuff too. So if you want to shout her out, that would be awesome. But we were just kind of playing and uh, I was I, I got auto drafted to fire break and I like it, it just it, like how overpowered it actually like was uh, when I immediately realized, you know what I mean? I was just like, wow. Like, I, I want to say it was rated like the first one where I only get a couple of, like, uh, I only get like 200 points. But, uh, but that was 200 points, you know, in seconds, you know, like without even really doing anything, without even getting in a gunfight, you know. And then I was able to just destroy the rest of the team because they're already hurt. They can't heal. And the map is so small. So I'm going to say abuse fire break while you can. The, the, the flamethrower is not as good as Black Ops 3. Like, no, not even close. That's truth, okay? And I did get a little campy in this game because, honestly, I, di I didn't want to overlap my streaks. I probably should have. I could have probably went for, like, 100-plus gameplay on this, in all honesty, if I would have pushed to overlap my streaks. Um, but I just really didn't want to do that because she was streaming and i was just kind of chilling you know i should have been playing more supportive and playing support but i just like i wasn't because i was like getting ready to log off for the rest of the night anyways i really didn't feel good when i was playing either um i was just starting to get sick but the, the fact is that you can do so much area damage um without even getting the kills and if you get the kills it's even worse like in terms of how fast you'll get your streaks in Nuketown with Firebreak, so I like I highly recommend that you guys check this out, especially if you're playing in a, in a large or even small group. If you're playing solo, it's all uh, all you got to do really, and this is the big um, like tip that I can give you for it is when you're playing solo is really just pay attention to where you are before you set it off, and just like here where I, like I waited till the respawn happened, and I got 400 points off of a single you know specialist ability I, I, I want you to really think about that it's a specialist ability that's not specialist weaponry that's my literal ability getting me 400 points without ever taking damage from an enemy without ever even visibly seeing an enemy or them knowing directly where i am to be able to shoot me that is insane dude like let's let's think about this for real think about how insane that really is these guys have no chance okay they would have to know where i am perfectly and in order to do that in nuketown you're gonna have to like make a really good guess you know like you're gonna have to make a really good guess and i because i could be in the building i could be in front of the building it's got such a like a range to it that this specialist hands down best one you can get for nuketown i promise you there's not going to be anything better you know where they're coming from in terms of like where they're going to rush from at all times so you know a lot of the normal stuff that we use to control the map is pretty much irrelevant and you you can almost always tell when you need to turn around in nuketown and you can pretty much always tell when they're going to be coming from in front of you and so on and so forth and that makes things like this where you can be everywhere basically doing damage at once 
way more overpowered than anything else. So, yeah, guys, I mean, it's going to be a little bit of a, uh, you know, campy gameplay now at this point as I've just, you know, been overlapping streaks, just like found out this is ridiculous. And I know that I got my fire break ability coming up soon. So I'm just like, you know what I mean? Like it literally, I should have, you know, I should have just kept, you know, burning through and uh, gone for a really high kill gameplay. But, uh, you know, I, I didn't. And, you know, coulda, woulda, shoulda, but I didn't. But look again here. Look, this is just, the, look at 200 points and they had to retreat back. That doesn't help them. That doesn't help them at all. I, I got my streaks again. Well, I didn't get all of them. I think I choke out the second strike team here on this part. But the, the fact is, like, I get almost all my streaks. And, you know, like, I still feel like I should have got right there, but I got, you know, whatever. It's whatever. It's, you know, it was a good game. I had a good time. And uh, it got me something to bring to you guys. It's actually really cool because Fire Break is definitely the best. Um, I mean, like, there's not even, it's not arguable, guys. It is not arguable. You see the gameplay. You see how ridiculous the Fire Break ability is. I've showed it multiple times. Between two to 400 points easily. And that's easily. That's not even, like, you know, really setting it up. I'm, I'm sure that if you set it up just right and you were, like, in the back spawn, oh, man. Oh my, dude. Like, think about if you were in back spawn, all right? It doesn't even matter which one. And you were just out of sight in the corner right there, like in the mid corners, okay? Like the little mid walls that are on either side. Imagine being on the outside of that. The team spawns, you kill four of them. And then you kill four of them or something again, or you kill six of them again because that's still going on and they spawn up in that spot. The team kill, the, like the, the spawn kill, the spawn trap capability of a specialist ability. That thing is over. It's definitely in this map specifically. It makes the nine bang and the cluster grenade look like just chump change. Now, I will say obviously the war machine is another up there. The war machine is up there for, you know, awesomeness but you're not going to get as many war machines going as you will specialist weapons unless you're just destroying people so keep that in mind guys uh if you see me in a lobby get the hell out of there don't play fire break you jackasses I, no i love you guys but seriously uh, if you guys enjoy this video hit the thumbs up if it's helped you hit the thumbs up if you got any other suggestions drop them in the box below here's two videos thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and as always have a good one